Welcome to this tech tip, designed to help you set up your Google Home smart speaker and get your devices connected. The Google Home smart speaker lets you use voice commands to interact with devices and services around your home. By connecting through your Google account, you can control your home entertainment, set reminders, or even see who's at your front door, all without getting off the couch. We're ready to begin, but before we get started, we need a few things first. A smartphone or tablet, a Wi-Fi connection, a Google account, and a Google Home smart speaker. First things first, on your phone, make sure you're connected to the home Wi-Fi network you're going to use. If not, you can connect by opening the settings feature on your phone, selecting connections, and then select Wi-Fi. Your phone will display the available networks. Select the network you want to connect to, enter the password, and it should be connected to your home Wi-Fi network. Now, you'll need a Google account. If you're using Gmail, you already have one. If not, you can Google how to create one, or you can follow the address on screen. Once you have a Google account, we can begin to create a control hub for your home. Plug your Google Home smart speaker into a power supply. Now using your phone or tablet, head to the Play Store for Android or the App Store for Apple and download the Google Home app. If you have multiple Google accounts, then choose the account you want to use with your Google Home and select OK. From here, the process is relatively intuitive. Follow the prompts to find and connect to the Google Home smart speaker hub. You will then be asked for preferences, including the language. We're choosing United States English so that we can access all the features and use voice activated commands once it's all set up. Your Google Home app will now connect to your Google Home smart speaker and you should hear a sound from your speaker once it's all connected. You'll be asked to choose the room where the device is located. This allows you to direct commands to the right device. We're going to choose Lounge for now. You will then be asked to choose your Wi-Fi connection. So select your home Wi-Fi, enter the password, and select OK. The Google Home smart speaker is packed full of features to control and connect a range of devices around your home. If you want to enable these, now is the time to turn them on. If you're unsure, you can read up on these features and come back to this step in the future. You can also choose to personalise the experience for your Google Home smart speaker or come back to this step later. Just enter your home address and click confirm. At this stage, you can also connect Spotify, Netflix and other services to enable your Google Home smart speaker to be used like a remote control. We've got separate videos on this, so for now we'll skip these steps and come back to them later. Now click continue and the Google Home smart speaker will install the latest updates. Once it's ready, you should hear a message like this. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. Well done. Your Google Home smart speaker is ready to go. Take a look at our other videos on connecting your smart home. And don't forget to subscribe to our page for more tech tips in the future.